Perhaps no name in Northwest Georgia is more recognizable than Bill Chappell. The former Dalton football coach for 33 years no longer roams the sidelines, but is reminded of all his great memories from his pictures and awards he's collected in his basement. It brings back a lot of good memories. Uh, and uh, when I see those kids that played on these teams uh, and see how successful they've become in life, and that's what it's all about. Uh, they learn the lessons that you need to learn if, if the program's run right. And, and uh, it, it, that, that pleases me more than anything. And Chapel has a lot to be proud of. 27 playoff appearances and the school's only state championship in 1967. But his greatest accomplishment something else. The greatest accomplishment is that, that our kids got to the point where they didn't go out hoping to win. They went out expecting to win. And they got that confidence, that swagger about them. And, uh, and actually, we played a lot of years around here with a lot of overachievers. We didn't have that kind of talent some years, but they didn't know it. 317 wins, 16 region titles, and a state championship, adding to a coaching resume that seems legendary. Yet Bill Chappell gives most of his credit to his players and assistants that have come through his system. We had some outstanding football players, and we had a good coaching staff, and uh, the kids we had were uh, just very unusual. Uh, we had a lot of them to go on and go play college football, so we had some good talent, and we had, they were great kids to begin with. Twelve years have passed since Coach has been on the sidelines. But going to the games isn't something he's put behind him. It's funny, the first year I was up in the stands with my wife, <clears throat> I just sit there and analyze. I don't scream and holler. Uh, and uh, she, she's old cheerleader, so she's always hollering and screaming. She punched me and said, you're a terrible fan. I said, what are you talking about? She said, you don't cheer and holler. I said, I never was a cheerleader. I was just fortunate and lucky to be uh, all just a part of it. And Catamount football still a part of him 12 years later. Reporting from Dalton, I'm Jeremy Babin, Newswatch 10 Sports.